All right, welcome to the course. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll be your instructor today. In this course, I'm going to teach you how to use Excel and Python together using something called OpenPyXL, which is a library that allows us to connect Python with Excel. So we're going to learn all kinds of cool stuff about how to pull data out of an Excel file and use it in a Python file, how to do stuff in a Python file, and then you know, output it to an Excel file, and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So if you don't have any experience with Python, you should be okay with this course. Uh, you know, it's better if you know a little bit of Python, but you should be able to pick up what you need along the way. We're not going to be doing anything particularly complicated with Python. So just a, even a basic familiarity with it will be helpful, but not necessarily required. And, and also, I'm just going to assume right off the bat that you already know Excel. Uh, you probably wouldn't be taking this course if you didn't already know Excel a little bit. And uh, again, we're not going to be doing anything crazy with Excel, just basic data stuff. You know, we've got a file like this with some data in it, and we're going to pull that data out and do stuff with it. We'll also learn how to make charts and graphs with Python and then export them into Excel and do different things with charts and graphs and things like that, and it should be a lot of fun. So in this video, I just want to say hello and uh, sort of introduce myself. Like I said, my name is John Elder, and let you know that if you have any questions along the way, absolutely ask them. Now, this is my full-time job. I'm here all day, every day, either answering questions or building new courses. But one thing I do want to mention, make sure that your questions are about this specific course. So the more specific, the better. So if you're watching video 12 and you don't understand something, be like, hey, I'm on video 12 and I don't understand this, or my code is not working. Here's the error that I'm getting from video 13 or, you know, stuff like that. Don't be like, hey, I'm doing this other project that's not really related to this and I'm having trouble with this code. Can you help me? Uh, because I can really only help you with uh, questions that are re that are related to this course. And you wouldn't think it, but I get asked all the time tons of questions that have absolutely nothing to do with the course. And uh, I just I have over 300,000 students. I, I can't help unless it's directly related to the course. So just wanted to make that sort of clear. Uh, you can ask your questions wherever you're watching this video. I have my videos hosted all over the internet. So whatever platform you're using to watch the videos, there's got to be some sort of mechanism to leave a message or contact me through that system. And I'm pretty good about answering questions. I live in uh, Las Vegas, which is Pacific time in America. So if you're on the other side of the world and it's the day, I'm obviously sleeping back in Vegas. So just sort of keep that in mind when it comes to response times. I try and answer questions at least within the same day, usually within a couple of hours. Just depends on when, when I see them. So in the next video, we're going to jump right in and start installing things. We only need a few things in order to do this. We need Python. We need some sort of text editor to write code on. We need some sort of terminal to write commands on. And obviously, we need Excel. Uh, I'm using the latest version of Excel. It doesn't really matter at all what version you're using. This will work with all versions of Excel. So if you're on an old version of Excel, I'll tell you the truth. I use old versions of Excel in my daily life. I'm just using this newest version because people expect the newest version. But I like the old versions of Excel, so I use those. They will work perfectly fine with this course if that's what you do too. Or if you're using the current version, the most up-to-date version of Excel, that'll work as well. So in the next video, we will jump right in and start installing things.